All right, welcome back. We are leveling together once again. And uh, yeah, this time we're going to try to catch some some buffalo. I actually may end up going to um, to New York, to Emerald Lake, and try to see about walleye. Um, I think that's the point in which we're at. I did look into the Netherlands map, and just from what I could find out, based on the baits that are best to use there... Um, we may try that eventually. I suspect we will, but it doesn't seem like it's a good a good place to go right at level 12 when you open that up. So we're going to um, hold off, and I think we want to try to earn some money at, 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 uh, at, uh, at New York on the walleye if we can. So I think that's what we'll probably do, if not this video, next one. But right now what we're doing is we're going for the buffalo. We're going to try to get it into this deeper area here. So I don't know exactly where that is, but we're going to use, to start off, we're going to try, oh, you know what we need to do first? We, we don't want to waste our time here. We want to get till at least noon here, right? All right. So I think if we go kind of right on the edge here, Let's just see what where this ends up sinking. I think that's going to be about right. Let's see how far that dr that dr uh, drips down. That's ten feet. That's perfect. If we can fish at ten feet, that'll be just great. Let's see if either one of these baits will get us some fish here. We're actually using size four hooks on both. If we're not getting very good bite rates, then we'll switch to uh, size six. But here on uh, Semolina, it looks like we already have our first fish. Although from the look of things, it seems like we caught something really small here. A little black tail shiner. All right, let's... um. Let's do something real quick here. We don't need these marks anymore. Oh, that that was a smallmouth buffalo over there. All right, we'll leave that for now. Uh, let's add one for that last fish, and we just need to remember to take it up. Okay, so we actually want to go a little right of that one, maybe? A little right of that one? It's about the same spot, but a little right of it. And then next fish that we catch off of this rod, at least, maybe we can um, delete that marker and add this one. Oh, but we want to remember which which rod it is. All right, so we've gotten two quick fish here. Oh, and that one's got one too, I believe, right? Or maybe it's about to. Also a shiner, right? So we caught two shiners, one on each of the baits that we're using. All right. So either one of these, whatever, whichever one we catch a fish on next, should um, should be a good spot to to reset the marker. A little nervous that that bait's just going to be eaten off on that other line. I'm excited about going for the walleye. We're gonna go for the walleye with uh, feeder fishing. Of course, you can fish walleye just with spin fishing using those, um, I think they're the purple narrow spoons or whatever. But I'm gonna see if we can't have some success and uh, earn some decent money using the uh, feeder system. 
I'm enjoying feeder fishing a lot here in this game. And of course, once we get the bigger rod stand, we could always have two feeders out and then also spin fish at the same time or just use a third feeder or do whatever. So we'll see though. That's what I love about bottom fishing. It just gives you options to uh, have a little bit more going on go for more than one thing at a time have different approaches basically yeah it definitely got something nibbling on that other line but it hasn't taken it yet There we go. Oh, I think there's one on both, unfortunately. This seems like a reasonably sized fish, but um, I really hope we can get this one in and also see what the other one is. I think this is a buffalo, right? I believe that's what it is. It's pretty, pretty big. Yeah, that's definitely a buffalo. All right, well, we lost that other fish. But we should be able to get this one in. Eventually. It's funny, it came in pretty good in the beginning, and now it's just like, no thank you. All right, there we go. Wow. Finally. So that's $67 and 38 XP. I feel like that's not bad. Um, okay. Let's delete that mark and add one. Hmm still be to the right a little bit more couldn't it it looks like to me let's see if we see uh, how far deep down that goes it didn't say it doesn't always say and I, I haven't figured out why sometimes it says the depth sometimes it doesn't but that one looked pretty deep didn't it Uh, we'll try the semolina one more time before switching to dough balls. Nine point I saw the line moving over there. But I'm not sure. The one that's on our stand looked like it was moving for a minute. There is something, something small. It's 
So let's try the dough balls. Still size four hook. Ooh, small, something real small. So though we may catch the smallmouth buffalo in this spot, we're not just catching them for sure. Even with the four hooks, another shiner. Getting a lot of little shiners here. Now the other one's going off. 9.5 feet. Oh, that's tiny. Now this is on dough balls. We'll give it a couple fish though. And see, um, see what it's pulling in. It's a little crappie. Oh, sunfish. I find fishing here at Texas though very relaxing. It's it's very low pressure. It's just kind of like you know, straight profit pretty much. It's very cheap to travel. I mean, it's free to travel here. The advanced license is very cheap. Um so it's a way just to make some profit and I also we never did really dial in on trying to get these buffalo so I was hoping with the newer baits that we've unlocked we might have a little bit better success but so far it's not you know, I think we've only caught one we probably have seen two but one we caught them at the same time so we missed the other one it's very hard with the reeds to actually see okay if there's a bite on or not we've got a fish on both lines Looks like a decent size crappie. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, small again. Okay, let's cast back at the marker. Instead of right of the marker. Let's pull out the map real quick. Yeah, we can definitely go a little bit past it too. Oh shoot. Okay, there we go. So 9.9. .9. Well, we've got a fish on the other line. Small. The bite rate's been good. Golden shiner that time. Oh, there we go. Maybe we'll maybe we'll put the mark exactly where this one was, just so that we know we have a confirmed buffalo spot. Now, I guess you know if you're wanting to really target these for a while and really f try to farm these, you could go back to that other spot where the other marker is. You can see it way out there because that was a lot closer cast, so that would be an easier. An easier reel in time, a little faster on the reel in. There we go. Unfortunately, we do not have trophies here. We just have the the normal. But seventy-one 
$40 for that one, 40 XP. You know, it's not bad at all. All right, let's, uh, let's take this one off and add that one. There we go. And again, you can always go a little right of it. It looks like it's a little deeper to the right, but that's a little bit closer to the middle. And this is where that other marker was. I, I would sort of expect that you'd want to be in this little area here for the best, for the best success on that. But all right, so we've got a new marker to cast at here. You know what, let's see. Um, bread with honey and dough balls are the two baits we've caught them on so far. Okay, so one on each. It's good to know. There we go. Maybe we're on to something now. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I don't think we'll get this one in in time. Unless it just puts up no resistance at all. All right, let's try to get the other one in. Trophy white crappie, that's interesting. Okay, I mean, not what we thought it was going to be, but it's still worth a lot. Look how far they <laughs> swim into the other side of the lake. The other side of the lake. Now, we're going to, I mean, whenever we do go to New York, we're going to try to catch walleye on this gear. I think we'll be okay, but what do I know? We'll see. I don't really remember. It's been so long. The main thing we want to pay attention to, make sure we're getting full experience. I know the money's great on the walleye, but. This seems more like a buffalo, doesn't it? Yeah. Fifty seven, thirty two XP. Yeah, this is this is working out pretty good. So that was on bread with honey, hook four. Dough balls, maybe some Alina balls are also seemingly working. What are we at right now on so four hundred and twenty eight dollars? And we still have plenty of room. I am so tired of doing that. I gotta remember which bait is which number. plenty of room in our fish jail. We're not even halfway there. So we're going to end up somewhere around a thousand if we stayed and actually filled it up. Uh, if this sort of pace continues in terms of weight and value. This is not a buffalo. A shiner. It is golden though. Very little XP on those shiners, but the money's not terrible.
All right, bread with honey again. Oh, yeah. This might be our biggest one yet. Let's see what it looks like coming in here. Not a personal record. 30 XP, $53 though. I like it. So we are now probably one fish. Well, next fish, if it's a buffalo, will actually put us just over halfway probably on our fish jail. I'm not sure that we're going to stay to finish this off. Let's just see how it goes here because I may try to make this a little bit longer video and actually go spend 20 minutes in New York or something. But let's see. So we're about 142 feet out cast to that spot. I think we should check something. I think we should go down to the other end of this and see if, it, if we're closer to the marker actually from the other end. We may be, I'm not sure. Let's get another fish in though here. Hmm. Okay. Small guy. I like those trophy white crappies, though. What have we caught those on? Um, trophy white crappie, both on dough balls. So maybe that's why you use dough balls. I was gonna say like maybe the bread with honey, you can do that times two, but I don't think so. We're catching those trophy white crappies on dough balls and some smallmouth buffalo. So I think we wanna, I think we wanna keep using both. All right, let's. Um, I was trying to give this line a second to see if we catch a fish on it before we go down the other side real quick. But let's just go. I don't I don't want to waste time with just one line in. So about 140 feet to the marker from here. Are there trophy white buffalo in the game somewhere else? I, I don't even know. I haven't. haven't. Again, my, my experience in Fishing Planet at the end of the day is pretty limited. All right, let's, uh, we can get up on the road down here somewhere, can't we? We could just fast travel, but I think you could get up on the path up here, right? Yeah. All right, let's go check this out. So what do you think? I think it's gonna be closer to the other end, maybe. I don't know, it's close. 
It's close, isn't it? Actually, let's get our... Um, It's going to be hard because we won't be able to see the line very good, but yeah, it's closer to the other end, closer to the other end, unless you just wanted to do that so that you could also have one real short here. All right, again, it's just gonna be tough to see. Tough to see when that other line is moving. I mean, I can't hardly see it at all. We'll have to go on instinct a little bit here. I don't know which one that is. <laughs> I don't think it's the one we're holding, so. Well, this one's going off. And that might be a buffalo. So maybe it's better to actually fish in this spot closer. This is on bread with honey, huh? Okay. Come here. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. Um, so we never caught one on this, right? But yeah, definitely closer on the other side if you want to fish at that far marker. But I'm not sure. This might be... Let's see. We kind of want to put it right here, don't we? Let's look at the map. Yeah, a little past it and to the left, maybe. see what that lands at depth was it seems pretty deep hmm. all right let's just see see what we get here something smallish but I do like the bite rate on the bread with honey, though. I like those trophy crappies on the... On the dough, though. Yeah, if you get in a really good trophy crappie area and then also catch a few buffaloes, like, that's a pretty nice combination here. Well, if we're going to spend any time at New York, we're going to have to go shortly here. Maybe next fish we'll, let's just go experiment. It's, it's going to be expensive. As long as we don't just completely fail, then we need, we can, um, we'll just stay there. We'll start, we'll start off this video and then do the next one, continue it and just stay there, I guess. I guess, I don't know, I can't tell. Do we have a fish on and it's just like waiting for me? 
Let's just try it. No, we didn't. Okay. There we go. All right, let's see what, what went on the dough balls. It's something small, obviously, but let's just see what it was. Golden Shiner. Okay. How many uh, panfish? Nice. Keep working on our panfish. Let's see how many markers we have left. Just one? Uh, that's fine for now. We can, we can manage with one, I think. Um, I'm going to delete one of them. We'll leave one here just as a reminder, but I'm going to delete one of them. All right, let's leave. So we made 672 bucks, would have been over a thousand with premium and 300 XP. All right, one thing we've got to do is purchase a bunch of small minnows. Um, what we're going to be using is small minnows. And they're 300 for 10 here. So they're expensive. These these getting some expensive baits. You're only getting 10. Um, so let's get... That's five. Let me make sure those are going into the backpack. They are. Um, our backpack is full, which is kind of scary. So let's go ahead and put, uh, in case we just have to buy something there or something, let's put that in the home base. And, oh, what size hooks do we want? Let me think about this. I had a video pulled up reminding me about the small minnows. Let's we'll see if it also showed hook sizes. Okay, so this person was using, it looks like 1-0 hooks, which we have plenty of. So we're gonna do 1-0 hooks and small minnows on both of these. All right, we're still good. I think we're still good. So we've got 48 left. How much does it cost to go? Traveling is 3,000 and advanced license is 900. So it is a lot of money, but we still have some room if we get, if we just totally screw this up, we're not totally, we're not too bad off, I guess. 50 might not be enough for how long we kind of need to stay to start turning a good profit, but we'll see. All right, so we want to go, we want to go to nighttime, so 9 p.m. Uh, if it's cloudy, raining, or even really cloudy, we can do it during the day some too. But um, they're so good about wanting to <laughs> offer you. All right, so what's the map? Looks, looks sunny, right? Yeah, it's sunny. Day one is sunny. Okay. So we definitely, first of all, let's get this set up. Can we used to like, okay, so you can put it down like here. Let's just get a clear line. There we go. And then let's go ahead and go to 9 p.m. And then I don't know where the spot is, but I feel like it was somewhere out here. So we're gonna try that one. 
No, 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 no. Cancel, cancel. Once you, like, hit that number, man, it's like... Yeah, now I'm really going to get confused because both of them. And this one we'll do a little closer. I think it's just past the reeds. Like, I don't think it's next to the reeds. I think it's just past the reeds is kind of what we're looking for. But let's see. It's five feet. I guess we can check the map, but I don't know that it's really about a hole. I think it's just like that area. Okay. Hopefully this works, and hopefully we have the right gear to get them in, and we're not, you know, we're getting ideal experience on catching these. All right. Here we go. Fish number one. Yeah, no problem getting this in, whatever it is. In fact, it's going to come straight in. I hope we're not getting penalized here. We shouldn't with this gear, I wouldn't think. That is, that is a walleye. Okay. Ooh, that just leveled us up. Look at that 91 experience, $267. So you've seen all these fish we've been catching up until this point. There's been nothing that we've caught that's been comparable to that. All right, so new spoons and bass jigs, wax worms. Crawl number two. Some bullet sinkers. Line rod reels. A new fish jail. And Texas rig. Okay. The deluxe pack. That looks cool. Trying to say no to DLC though. You know what we need to do? We need to add a marker. So we at least have something. See, there's not really a depth or anything that we're throwing to. We want to at least have one where we know we have caught a walleye. So we paid what? About 4000 to get here. And we're going to be able to catch approximately, what, like, I don't know, 10 to 12 at least walleye. Depending on the size. I mean, you can get some small ones. That was a pretty decent size one we caught, right at 3 kilo. This one's even nicer, it looks like. I'm watching what other people are catching, seeing a lot of 3.22. So again, right around that size that we caught, looks like is the sort of the healthy size for these things. So this was the, we've caught both fish now on the same line, if I'm not mistaken. It may be that wherever we threw that other rod is not in the right place. We'll give it a little bit more time, but. Looks like this is gonna be a nice one though. I'm wondering if it's possible for something else to come in, like a pike or something. I don't know, we'll see, but I think we'll mostly just catch walleye at night on these small minnows. I can't wait to see what size this is, just for comparison's sake. This one is taking a little bit of time to get in, but they're worth it. All right, there we go. It wants to come in now, doesn't it? I think that next back, back turn will be it. As we wear this thing out. Still nothing on that other line though.
your personal record, 3.3 pounds, 98 experience, almost 100 experience, 288 bucks. So two fish in, we're already $555. So you can kind of see it's not, uh, oh, there goes the other line. Thank goodness. Starting to really worry about it. Uh, it's a false alarm though. There we go. Ooh. Right out of the gate, it looks healthy. Looks very healthy. Now these other folks that are catching walleye are, looks like spin fishing for them. We really need this guy to come in like right now. Try to get that other one too. Come on, it! All right. 2.6, so much smaller, but still really decent though. really decent the experience is better than I remembered for these walleye the one thing you got to watch is like how small is your net you know we have this this fish jail we've had for a level or two now and it allows us to get 33 pounds of fish in it so obviously it's going to be we're going to be able to start making a profit on a trip like this pretty quickly. But if you have too small of a net, it's just going to take a lot more days to do it, which means you're paying that extra cost to stay. Uh, so it just cuts in your profit a little bit, but still doable. Got him. Got him. So personal record 3.5, 103 experience and $300. All right, let's look real quick. So four fish, we're at a thousand. So we are a fifth of the way, a little over a fifth of the way towards profit. We're getting a lot of XP and we are about, oops, 12, let's see, 30. We're not quite halfway to filling up the net. So we're definitely not making a profit in the first day. Those of you who excel at math probably figured that out quite a while ago. But remember, you stay, you just extend your trip, and uh, it won't be too long until we are making a profit. And we're getting all this XP, which levels you up, allows you access to bigger nets so that you can do more per day, and it also 
you know, you get rewards just for leveling as well. So this still seems to be, even though it's expensive to get here, expensive to buy the bait and all that, this is still a very good farm. I've never been good at like doing fishing for the same fish. Uh, I mean, it, variety can be fun, I guess is what I'm saying, but there's no doubt that this is a good farm and worth spending some time doing. All right, let's try to get one more fish in and then we'll call it for this video. And since we haven't finished fish, filled our net up, we will just, um, we'll just quit. And that way when we start our next video series, our next video will be starting from the same night so we can get as much as we can out of this day as possible. Dragonfly was getting closer and closer, wasn't it? There was a dip in fish activity, but I can't imagine. I mean, it's 9.52. Are we really in that dip now? I wouldn't think so. This has been a long wait. They're worth the wait, but this has been a long wait on this one.
comes another dragonfly. Let's move this one. I'm going to try a slightly different spot here. This seems a little smaller, but at least we caught something. Okay. So that's two quick ones there. Oh, that was much smaller, but still 60 XP 177. Still really nice. Six walleye, total of 1500. We are still in the higher part. Uh, by 11, we probably wanna think about skipping to maybe two. Um, okay, like I said, uh, we're like just over halfway now on the, on the fish jail, so obviously we don't want to skip to next morning yet. Um, but I mean, at fifteen hundred, we're already we've already paid for half the travel expense. So by the end of day one, we'll have paid just about paid the full travel expense, and this, so that means by day two, we're quickly coming into profit. You know, halfway through the fish jail and day two, we're we're going profit. Now that's what worries me a little bit. Five pound trophy walleye. Would be, we'd, we'd be able to get one of those in on our current gear. Maybe. Might take forever, but maybe. Okay. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, let me know. Continuing to enjoy as I learn a little bit more about Fishing Planet. Hope you're enjoying it as well. I'll see you next time. Thanks again.